This clip is about the modality pressure, and we will explain how blood pressure is measured with the help of an automatic blood pressure monitor. Now, instead of actually using this fully automatic blood pressure meter, we will simulate its measurement process with the help of this more traditional blood pressure meter. But what we have done here is that we have attached this electronic pressure sensor that you can see here, which is identical to the one found in the automatic blood pressure meter. So now, if we look at the screen, we see that my absolute pressure is depicted in the middle trace, the red one, and the lower trace, the blue one, shows the corresponding changes to my pressure. Now, if I pump my cuff up a bit, then we notice that the middle trace is starting to move upward and the lower one is showing the corresponding changes to this movement. Now, how is it possible to determine our systolic and diastolic blood pressure? Now, let me pump the cuff up to a point which is higher than what my systolic blood pressure would be. Now, clear our data from the screen. And then I slowly reduce the pressure in the cuff. Notice now the small pressure changes in the lower trace. Now this happens because at every heartbeat, a small amount of blood passes through my artery, which in turn impinges onto the cuff and is registered by the pressure sensor. Now, if I reduce the pressure in the cuff even more, there will come a point, as we're starting to see on the monitor, where the blood can pass freely through my artery and it doesn't have any implication on the cuff whatsoever. However, the problem is that the constant appearance and disappearance of these small pressure changes doesn't really help us determine our systolic and diastolic blood pressure, so we would have to calculate those using the raw data. Now, in the automatic blood pressure monitor, this is done with the help of a microprocessor. However, before the arrival of microprocessors, this measurement was done with the help of a stethoscope which brings us to the subject we shall explore in our next clip, and that is the modality of sound.